Okay, so this is a profile of the mechanics, how it works, the lift. You got the motor, drive, and a shaft. Attached to the shaft is a string that splits into two and goes over two pulleys attached to the base that either makes the layout go up or down. So let's say the pedestal is in the down position. So all I do is take a magnet and I would swipe it over a reed switch, which is right here, this glass reed switch. That will turn that on. This limit switch is already on because it's activated. So from this 12 volts, you would have current flow through the coil, through the limit switch, through the reed switch, through this 97 ohm resistor to 12 volts. This will activate this leg and cause current to flow in this direction through the motor, turning the motor, making it go up. Once it reaches the top position, this limit switch will now go from a closed position to an open position and close the motor. If you want to make it go back down, I would simply take the magnet and move it to the other side. And here's another reed switch, which will turn that on. This is already in a normally closed position. So this will cause current to flow in this direction through the coil, through the limit switch, through the reed switch, through the 97 ohm resistor, and back to the battery, causing this relay to turn on, causing current to flow in the opposite direction, making it go back down. Now, when it reaches the bottom, this um, limit switch will be activated and stop the motor. Okay, so you just saw how the circuit works. So let me show you where the limit switches are located. The one at the bottom here, you see here, uh, is in a open position right now, so it will not conduct electricity. When, it's, when the cabinet's in a down position, this will push that in, allowing for the cabinet to go up when um, the reed switch is activated. Now on the top here, like I explained, when the cabinet goes down and reaches the bottom position, this will push in and stop the motor. But when it's in the open position, it's ready for um, the magnet to be placed on that one reed switch to make it go down. Okay, so the two reed switches are located under the top. One here and one there. And that will determine if the cabinet goes up or down. Here's a look at in the middle of the shaft.
So the magnet's inside this vase, and I just move it over. And this will take about 45 seconds. Now I just push this down. And there's the layout. So if you noticed, you got two trains running here. One is the bat train, and the other is the joker train. And they're in a chase up the mountain. So to accomplish this, what I did was put a reed switch in the track at the top of the mountain, and a three inch piece of uh, dead track at the bottom of the mountain. That reed switch will be triggered by a little magnet. Let me see if I can get it. A little magnet, which is attached to the bottom of that car, is going to switch on that relay right down there. When it switches on that relay, it's gonna power this piece of dead track here. That dead track is connected to a circuit which is also connected to the reed switch. So uh, both trains have a magnet glued to the bottom of one of the cars. So when one tree train reaches the bottom, it will automatically stop because there's no power in that three inch piece of track. And then when the other train reaches the top and passes over that reed switch, it will trigger a relay and a timing circuit for that dead track at the bottom to go on for three seconds. That allows for the bottom train to release and continue the path upward. That cycle just keeps repeating. Show you some of the features if you haven't noticed um, right down here if you're familiar with the movie Batman Returns yes that is the penguin riding his mechanical uh, duck boat and then if you go to the top See the back Batmobile, the fire shooting out the back. And that would be Wayne Manor. You see I have the two lights lit up as eyes as the building. Kind of looks like a bat. And of course in the background is Gotham City. If you look closely at the front, as it comes through the tunnel, there you got the joker painted on the, the front of that engine. And if 
if you're familiar with that engine, some of you would know that is uh, Thomas the train. I just converted it to the Joker train. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate everybody watching.